All right. Oh, the color change. All right. Well, it's it's getting dark here, so it makes sense. Um, hey. This is Carl, and I'm Carlos, and we're here at the Ramapo uh, Sweetwater Prayer Camp. And there's a couple of um, other people here. There's a Ramapo who's here at the moment and a Lakota. Um, but other than us four, um, nobody's here. So the idea that I'm trying to get that I, I want to say about this is that uh, there definitely needs to be presence here. We're, the chief was here earlier and he says, you know, the more people that can be here, the more it helps. It shows community involvement. And that's really what they're looking for now. Um, you know, I guess some people try to show their support through money and different things like that, but really just being here and especially maybe camping overnight really shows a lot of solidarity and that's what they're looking for right now. Um, do you have any, um, sorry, I, I said maybe what we had just <laughs> discussed, but I'm not the best with these interviews yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. But Carl here came out from Newark. Took and, the train up this morning. Yeah, and he uh, he actually brought a lot of food, which is really good. We've been eating, so um, it's it's cool to just camp out generally. So now you could, if those of you who like camping, camp here. But um, yeah, Carl, do you want to? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if you care about the future of water in New Jersey, if you care about the future mm -hmm. of our land, if you care about you know, halting some of the massive development that we have going on in the state that's just ravished our beautiful landscape here. And if you care about culture, I mean, this is some of the truest, most undisturbed culture, I think, in the entire country. These are all reasons to come out. Like Carlo said, we're also having a good time. We're eating. But, um, you know, we're here with a very serious purpose, and that is to protect the land for the Ramapo Lenape and to camp out in solidarity with them. So. We hope you can join. Um, there's a train stop right in Mawa. If you don't have a car like I do, I walked here over from it and uh, it's been really great so far. The land is beautiful and I love being out here. Yeah. Yeah, so Carl said it really well. Um, so we're gonna go before the light runs out, <laughs> we're gonna go down by the water. I don't know how, if you'll be able to see it, but uh, there's actually an island here and we're gonna go check things out and then we're gonna camp. So yeah, uh, hopefully, as time goes on more, and especially it's summertime, try and get out here and camp. And um, cause there is harassment going on. It happened even today and it's been happening a lot with the community and the police are just in the area and they're trying to deter people from being here, which is yeah. all the more reason we need to be here. It can feel a little hostile in town yeah. when you mention the Ramapo Lenape, but I think we, we have supporters all over the state and I think there are people who do want to come out. And even if you don't come out, I know there are a lot of people out there who are reading these stories who support it. And, and just, you know, if you feel the hostility, just know that that's a, a micro, a, a tiny little bit of what the people themselves, uh, the Ramapo, other indigenous people and oppressed people um, that we're trying to all stand with they must feel so much more than that mm -hmm. if we feel that. Yeah. So the least we can do is walk into uncertain situations and show our support. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there is hundreds of years of history of discrimination in this town. And uh, yeah, anything I feel is nothing compared to the experience this tribe has gone through trying to, you know, survive on this land. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll say good night. Peace. Good night. Peace yeah, to you all. And hopefully you make it to this, this land. It's a uh, really well-kept land. So it's a pleasure being here. All right. Good night.